and we're back to learning CapCut. Let me show you how we can deal with markers. I use the default layout and then everything should look for you like this if you use it. Here is the marker button directly in between the delete and the freeze function. Just move this slider in your timeline, left click on the marker icon and then you have your first marker created by default. It's just numbered, so marker 01, 02. You can also press M for that, like I did here. And when you right click on that, you get options for it to delete, to delete all the markers or to edit this specific one. You can give it a name. Let's just say we want to add a lighting effect here. Change that here for the position. You can left click on it and then drag and the marker will be adjusted. And you can pick different colors. So let's just say you want to have certain markers. For the music, you can all make them purple. And then you know here's where you want to have the beat. When you want to delete markers, you can't left click on them and press the delete key. It is going to delete the entire clip. You press Ctrl Z here. You can't left click drag and select them. You can only right click and delete them. Or you can drag the slider to the position and then your add marker icon has changed to a delete marker icon. So here is no marker. I add it and now this icon is a delete icon. And these are the basics of using the markers in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.